Our 2020 Citizen of the Year, Mrs. Patricia R. St. Clair, was the very first First Lady of Riverside. She has dedicated her life to supporting health care and health care philanthropy right here in her community. Patty's generosity and her enduring love for Riverside means that the Patricia R. St. Clair Program for Cancer Genetics and Prevention will allow patients to prepare for their future, knowing that Riverside is with them every step of the way. Mrs. St. Clair, um, she's told me I can call her Patty and I just say, yes ma'am. I've known Patty for over 25 years and Patty and Lou, I think they're both were visionaries. If you ask me about Patty St. Clair, my time with her goes back from the first time I was here. Uh, when her husband, Lou St. Clair, was here. But most importantly, she cares about patient care and she cares about Riverside. As many of you know, Lou was the CEO of Riverside for almost 40 years, was able to take Riverside from a single hospital to a, a very complex health system that has continued to grow and, and serve the community. And with him along the way uh, was Patty. For me, Patty St. Clair was not only inspiring, she was an aspiration for me as well. She um, was remarkable when I came as the first female vice president into the Riverside family. And she was a model for me. She's a nurse, so I instantly love her. Um, we are kindred spirits but hearing her describe her role as a wife to a hospital administrator um, where she would get him up early and tell him to go make rounds because the people are the most important thing in a hospital and their nurses meant a great deal to me. And she has never been a shrinking violet. She has always been interested and been active and been an activist in trying to do things in the healthcare field. Last February, Dr. Maggie Khalil Sally Hartman and I presented a proposal to Patty around a high-risk assessment program. And it was so amazing. Even Dr. Khalil said, wow, what a wonderful lady. She just makes working in the field inspiring to me. And we're fortunate that she has wanted to give back to the community and has wanted to give back to Riverside, the Riverside Foundation. Uh, through her work around oncology, through her work with genetics specifically. Genetics now is such an instrumental and critical part of oncology. It's e even in the last five years, it's, it's exponentially grown in terms of its importance. So you don't just have breast cancer or lung cancer, you have this particular type of breast cancer that has this particular type of uh, genetic makeup that's going to be more responsive to this particular type of therapy. One of the unique characteristics about what we're building here at her direction is the ability to have preventive genetic screening through primary care offices and OBGYNs. Normally, you're buying something over the counter, sending it off somewhere, or sometimes going to an oncology group when you don't maybe even have cancer. So that's uncomfortable, and we're making it much more accessible. The program is really gonna be based in the primary care setting. We have 30 primary care and OBGYN practices across the regions that we serve. And across those clinics, there are over 180,000 patients that we see annually, 30,000 new patients of those 180,000. So think about all the lives that she's gonna to touch with this. The wonderful thing about this is that the patient now has control, right? And so the doctor will possibly say, hey, let's get a baseline MRI. Let's do MRI and mammogram every six months. But the other really great thing is that the patient, if they're young or if they're older and they've already had children, they may say, you know, they could be predisposed to ovarian cancer and may want to talk to our GYN oncologist about an oophorectomy. Um, they may want to see a medical oncologist for some type of hormone therapy, right? And so they could really actually prevent a cancer from happening. Mrs. St. Clair's role in philanthropy at Riverside um, ha has been an example for many. She leaned in to fuel prevention and education for our oncology patients and wow. 
it's going to save lives. As the daughter of somebody who passed away from cancer, uh, I, I wish and hope every single day that the research and technology and prevention efforts we have now could have been there for him. So I think to bring a genetic testing and counseling, to bring education um, about lifestyle impact on the family and patient uh, speaks volumes to how Patty has lived and is living her life in a very purposeful, meaningful, compassionate way to create care that we would give those we love to every citizen within our service area. I do love her.